People around the world are split when it comes to the science of robotics or AI. Some people are all for it and choose to focus on the positives the tech might bring. But others, Elon Musk included, are more than wary about the technology in general, given its potential to become autonomous. Stay with us, as today we are discussing a company who are willing to pay you $200,000 for the rights to your face. First up, what's it all about? The company in question, Promobot, is looking for someone to be the face, quite literally, of its new robot. They are willing to pay the lucky person $200,000 for their likeness to be used on its robots, which will be used in hotels, malls, and other crowded places. So what are you waiting for? Jokes. We won't be rushing to do that either. However, they have received, somewhat surprisingly, more than 20,000 applications. Some people must think the money is worth it. What do you guys think? We would want a little more, we think. They said, the Promobot company wants to say thanks to everyone who responded to participation in the project. Today, we have received over 20,000 applications, and our client has decided to suspend the request collection. Those who didn't have time to submit an application, please, no worries. We are having more projects upcoming. Subscribe to our Instagram and stay tuned. Well, there you have it. Plenty more opportunities for your beautiful faces to be used in the future. Promobot have claimed it will take over a year to decide on the lucky candidate, and whoever the lucky winner is will also voice the robot, creating an uncanny likeness. The person will have to record around 100 hours of speech for the robot to use. This will inevitably mean the person who is chosen will be famous around the world and it is yet to be known how accurate the robots will be. Will we even be able to tell the robots apart from the person? What do you make of this? What has caused the rise in robotics then? It is so far unknown whether or not the winner will be announced publicly, and we don't know if the candidates will have had to sign waivers to give up the rights to their own faces. Creepy. The COVID pandemic has meant that robotics and contactless services have shot through the roof, and now that companies know they can reduce the reliance and wages of actual human staff, expect to see more and more of this going forward. People became wary of face to face delivery during the pandemic, and this has only meant the growth of robotics companies who have wasted no time in developing robots for these purposes. Added to the fact was the shutdown of large scale industry and stay at home orders, which meant the labor force was depleted. One of these delivery companies, Starship Technologies, recently completed its two millionth delivery. Their fleet consists of over 1,000 robots, and they are planning even more in the coming months and years. Their CEO said, We saw demand for robot use to just go through the ceiling. I think demand was always there, but it was brought forward by the pandemic effect. This represents a huge market at the moment, and there are no shortage of companies getting involved. Russian monolith Yandex recently partnered with Grubhub to deploy delivery robots on campuses around the USA, quartering this huge delivery market, especially on student campuses where diets might not be the best, is a huge deal for these companies. What's your favorite takeaway? Does an increase in robots mean less jobs for people? Stay with us to find out. There has been a long-held idea that an increase in robots means a decrease in jobs for the human workforce, which is a legitimate concern for people around the world, especially in less developed countries. And while for the large part this is true, it is not the whole picture. In a recently published paper, Robots and Jobs, Evidence from U.S. Labor Markets, by MIT professor Darren Asimoglu, it was claimed that for every robot added to the workforce per 1,000 workers, that wages declined by 0.42%. This is worrying. It's obviously a hot topic, and people are right to be worried about the impact robots will have on their future earning potential but in the short to medium term, it's not all doom and gloom. Before robots will be accepted into the workforce completely, they will have to prove their advantageous benefits. Tech expert Brendan Witcher had this to say, It's possible that we see this emerge into something else, but it's the right time and place for companies considering robots to test them and learn from them and do their own evaluation. What do you guys make of companies employing more and more robots to do the job of humans? Has your profession been affected by this? Let us know in the comments section below. Some more robotics news next with some terrifying news from China. You don't want to miss this. In an alarming piece of news seemingly straight out of a futuristic movie script, it has been reported this week that a Chinese robotics firm has developed a robot with the capability of reading people's minds, with an accuracy of around 96%. Scared yet? We are. The team, out of Three Gorges University in Yi Chang, recently tested the creepy little guy, and it was reported that the robot not only collects info from the brain of the subject, but it can also collect electrical signals from muscles. Does that mean it knows what actions you're going to make before you make them? Stop, guys. This is all too much. Am I right? The subject did not need to say anything for the robot to read its mind, and lead scientist on the project, Dong Yuanfa, said assembly work accounts for around 45% of modern industrial manufacturing when asked about what else the robot could do. He informed reporters that the robot can also pick up tools, which probably means it is being developed to work on an assembly line, as well as being able to take orders. Scary. He went on to say that these robots, or cobots, as they were affectionately referred to in the 
the industry could accelerate the pace of work on the line. Dong's robot was able to effectively understand around 70% of commands, so there is still some way to go, but this might be more evidence of why workers should be worried about their jobs. What do you guys think about this? News from CES 2022 next. Stay with us. This past weekend saw what has been billed as the world's most influential tech event, and there were plenty of new gadgets and promising tech on show. So, what were the highlights? We saw a revolutionary self-driving tractor from John Deere, which will surely be a big hit with the farming community. Featuring stereo cameras front and back, the company has raced to the front of the autonomous driving sector, sorry, largely down to the fact that the tractors move much slower than normal traffic and only have scarecrows to worry about as opposed to actual people. The tractor will initially only support driverless plowing, not the more complex job or seeding or harvesting. Also on the show was the Amica robot. The humanoid, designed to converse with real human beings, was created by UK-based startup Engineered Arts. The humanoid can replicate actual facial expressions and will even throw out a compliment or two. Do you have to be nice to it to get a compliment, we wonder? Regarding her feelings, the robot went on to say, us robots do not feel, but if I could, I would say I'm happy. We also saw a space plane which will potentially rival Bezos and Musk. The Dream Chaser from the Sierra Space Company isn't really consumer tech, but it's still pretty cool. It will be able to bring cargo to and from the ISS, and the best bit, it's reusable, so it will minimize that pesky space debris. What tech are you most looking forward to in the coming years? And finally, a robot hotel concierge for you guys to meet. Stay tuned. Alfred, the Dream Hollywood Hotel's robotic concierge, has been garnering rave reviews since his recent unveiling. Introduced as a way for guests to minimize their interactions with staff during the pandemic, Alf has been a big hit. He provides loads of different duties, including greeting guests and delivering various items to rooms, and even provided the hotel with a solution when workers had to go off sick with COVID. And the best bit? You don't have to tip your new robotic friend, as he obviously doesn't understand the concept of money, right? Vaughn Davis, the hotel manager, told us that he really is the dream employee, as he never calls in sick, nor does he complain. Oh, he must be in the running for employee of the year, surely. Robots have come to the fore in the service industry since guests really want to limit interactions with staff, so Alfred has provided a great alternative. He has proved such a hit that the hotel are planning to introduce a friend for him soon, which will be nice for him, although we're not sure how aware he will be. Davis went on to say, so you have the contactless safety portion of the guest journey and then the experience of it. For us, it's a no-brainer, so that's why we added another robot. He went on to say that Alfred frees his team up to work on other things and provides guests with even better customer service, which can only be a good thing, right? As always, thanks for tuning in today, and remember to swing by next time for some more revelations. We'll see you in the next video.